I just need a little bit more oil, like maybe 200 or something. Oh, oh, great, 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 great. Run, 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 run. We can get away. Okay, is he hitting us? Oh, he's still hitting us. Okay, Serpentine, go around, go around, go around. We got this. Okay, I think we can take this guy out. What's going on, guys? TVF Gaming, we are back from the episode of Ark Survival Evolved on the Xbox One. Right rock map. Check it out, guys. We are getting into some things today. We are trying to gather as much metal as possible so we can get us an industrial forge. I've already laid out the foundation so we can get us a forge placed right over there. Uh, we can get a forge built and hopefully a whole bunch of things actually going in terms of metal. We really got to get our metal production stepped up. Uh, we, we've mainly been building with stone. We're going to stick with stone buildings just for the look of it. But in terms of metal, we really need to get a lot going. Check out what we got going uh, on the forges right here. We got four stacks on each one of these. So they're all, they've all each got four, so they're ready to go. I just need to go get some wood with one of the beavers. And then over here, we got a whole bunch of gunpowder about to go. In fact, you see we got six charcoal, six spark powder, which should be the exact right amount we need. We'll give us 600 gunpowder. So let's get that making up. That one's going. This one, another 600 here. Let's get that going. All right, is that one all going? There we go. Uh, this one, uh, see this one we fell short on here. That or No, I think we were putting this on a different one. This is where we were making just spark powder. Uh, was it this one? It was not, it was this one. It's that one, okay, so let's put the rest of our spark powder there. And then we'll get this cooking with another 600. There we go. So that's gonna be six, 12, 18, so 1,800 gunpowder going there. Plus we already have quite a bit made over there uh let's see what one other thing we got going here no that's it just some chitin over there so we got all of those going over here we have quite a bit of uh we used a bunch of our gunpowder already to make some simple rifle bullets and then getting those into tranquilizer darts so it's time to get into those and we made one gun we, we got a couple of just regular long neck rifles but we also made one uh, from this blueprint right here we made us our journeyman long neck rifle this one's pretty sweet it does Let's look at it right here. 211% damage. So really, really great. Uh, we'll, we'll get into that a little bit. We don't want to mess with it right now. Let's throw our... Uh, we've got a bunch of narcotic on us. Let's throw this somewhere so we don't lose it. Um, I guess we can put it... Do we have room on this one? We do not. Man, we're running out, of, running out of room here. So we definitely need to get into actual uh, larger storage as well. That's what we want to get into now. Uh, I guess we can just put it here right now just to get it out of the way. Uh, one, two, three, four, and another twelve. So, get that off of us. Let's make sure our spark. I'm gonna throw the rest of our spark powder uh, in in these ones here. So let's throw some there. Let's throw some on this one, and then we'll throw some on these last two over here. We want to make sure that we don't have the same thing happen where we ran out on these ones before. There's one there, and then oh, we kind of ran out here. Only two, but this one's going pretty good. There we go. So we got spark powder everywhere. We're about to take our beaver out. We're going to take mirror out and get us a little bit of uh, wood going. So if you guys checked out the last episode, you guys saw that we finally got our otters. Took forever to find these guys. So there you go. There's our three otters. We don't have names for these guys yet. I really don't know what to name them. Same with the snake. I'm not sure what to, what to name this guy other than, oh my gosh, I hate this guy. Uh, man, uh, once he builds in here. Feel free to go texture-wise. Where's my textures? So... Here you go. Ark sometimes doesn't want to build in here. Okay. I guess we're just going to let it just sit like that. You can see right there the texture is not building in. You should have like a, a lot more detail up close. I don't know why it's doing that. But anyway. So that's what we got going on there. Obviously Apex. We've been flying around with him. we got Apex leveled up now to level 250. Uh, looks like we might have another level there. On the inside. We got the inside done just for this first part. Oh, we got some eggs down there. Awesome. Uh, we got this first part done, this little uh, two-layer thing, and I'm going to build, off of this, I'm going to build some separate rooms. And I think this is going to be like the, maybe the living quarters, or maybe I'll bring some of the small dinos up there. I'm not really, really sure what we want to do with that just yet. But let's get all these eggs, man. You guys have been busy over here. Good job. There's a couple there. We'll go ahead and grab this stuff, too, so we can make sure our fertilizer stuff's going good out there. Oh, having difficulties getting these eggs. Come on, let me grab the egg. Hmm. Why so many troubles? There we go. All right. Pick up that one. This one's stuck in you. All right. Is that all of them? That should be all of them. Oh, we got one more. Kind of just hanging out in your leg. Strange little growth. That's not good at all. 
Alright. Grab one more of these right here. Alright. Anything else super important in here? Uh, it's probably time to go on a food run again, I assume, too. Let's check our thing over here. Uh, we're doing okay fruit, but we definitely need some meat for our uh, carnivores down there. Make sure none of them are starving. We're doing okay food-wise. Definitely doing okay food-wise. Doing okay food-wise. How about you guys? You guys are down here quite a ways. Are you guys too far from the trough? Maybe I should build a second trough down there. And then I probably need to arrange them in terms of uh, meat eaters on one end, plant eaters on the other. Something like that. We'll figure all that out here pretty soon. Alright, so that's the main thing going on today. Is we're going to get us together. Let's, let's do it right now before I get sidetracked. You guys know how I like to get sidetracked and forget what I got going on. Uh, let's throw this stuff on here. There we go. Six more Rex eggs. We'll throw the feces out here. There we go. You guys overweight again? You are. There's some more oil for me. I appreciate it. Alright, let's uh, throw one, two, and three. Now we're going to level your weight up again. Up to 21 weight. Awesome. And on this one, he's got some more for us here. And I uh, don't have any more poop for you guys. So I'll have to... I owe you guys a little bit there. Let's just deposit one fertilizer in each one of these. want to make sure these guys are... These are always like super high fertilizer-wise. We haven't had any problem there because they make so much. See, this one's got no more room for fertilizer. Should we take out some of the stuff? Yeah, we'll take these narco berries. We'll take this. We'll try and remember what we got going on. Oh, don't take that. All right, there's that one. Now we can place. Oh, come on now. There we go. Put that there. Same here. We're going to grab these berries. Look how much fertilizer there. See, we're, we're definitely never going to run out of fertilizer. That's for sure. All right, grab this one here. No, we'll just deposit. Deposit. And deposit. Okay, cool. And I think these are both full, or getting close at least. So we got two more left. Throw those in there. Bam. All right. All kinds of things going on here. So this this greenhouse has been absolutely awesome. I, I thought it wouldn't be big enough, but it's actually just right in terms of the advanced crops that we need. Uh, we'll get into some cooking here pretty soon so we can actually do something with those crops. All right. Close all that up. Oh, you're, you're in my way, bud. All right. And now let's go get some wood. How's your weight? Is your weight high enough to make it worth it? Yeah, you'll, you'll be okay. Not the greatest. We probably need to switch you guys out. If we go get our other one, it's like level 270. This guy's quite a bit lower, but that's fine. We'll use this one just to use it. Alright, so we're just going to go chop down a little bit of wood. And get some wood going on the actual forges in there. I think we need, let's see, 4, 8, 12, 16. 1,600 wood is how much we need. So there's 484, 440. So we'll just need... Like four of these big trees will be enough, or the small trees might need a little bit more. Um, oh man, super overweight. So let's do this. Let's grab one, two, three. Are we going to be overweight? Oh no, we're super overweight. Okay, let's, uh, what can we draw? Oh, we have s ceilings on us. My fault. So let's do this. Let's put the wood back on him, and then we'll have him follow. Oh, we got some armor, too. So you can see we're just doing so many things at once. We get a little uh, little mixed up here. All right, follow us back, bud. So we'll get this guy back here. But check this out. So from this point here all the way to the end of the entire base is still all one flat surface. I've done foundations the entire way. This is, without a doubt, the flattest area I've ever seen in any of these arc maps. Really enjoy this. Uh, it... it it does mean that we don't have to be as creative with it, which I may be a drawback when it really comes to it, but it's been pretty nice not having to stress about it. So let's, let's get him in here. All right. Let's have you hang out right there. And then let's pull a switch. You can hold these ceilings for me, and I will take some of the, the wood. Let's go one, two, three, four. Can I still move? I can. Perfect. All right. You need to get out of the way. You're all kinds in the way. There we go. I think your tail is still going to give me trouble. It's okay. All right. So let's start getting some wood on here. One, two, three, and four. Bam. So we'll get all these going, all these cooking, and then we'll have all kinds of metal going, more spark powder, not spark powder, charcoal. So we're just going to have all kinds of things going at once. That's the plan here is we want to make sure that we're really getting to some upgrades now because we've been – Doing pretty much everything on pace. I, I'm pretty happy with the pace we're going with everything, but we definitely want to step it up just a little bit in terms of uh, 
the stuff that we're making. All right, there's that one, and then this one. We just need three more. All right, so let's go with that one. We want to make sure all these are full. All right, how much more we got? So we need one, two, three, and then we have one, two, and some change. All right, I can still move. Perfect. <laughs> I was afraid I wouldn't be able to move there. All right, we'll put these last three on here. One, two, and three. All right, start that one up. And then this one here, we're actually going to make a little bit more. Let's throw a little bit of oil we do have on there. And then we'll throw our wood. There we go. And we're going to make a little bit of fuel. We need to go get a little more oil. I think that's what we're going to go work on here in a second is go get a little more oil, a couple more things like that, and hopefully just continue to get into some upgrades. So there we go. Got quite a few things going on at once. Uh, you know what? While we're waiting on all that metal to bake up, because this is what we actually are making. Obviously, we got our little guns going and stuff like that. But we also, for our industrial force, let's see how much we actually need. So if we go structures, uh, crafting, industrial forge, I need 2,500 metal. And I have 600. So we need 1,900 total metal. About 213 oil and then 400 polymer. So polymer is easy. We can just go kill a bunch of uh, prey mantis out there. The mantis and we'll be good to go there. So I think... While we're waiting, why don't we get us a couple of otters? Let's go. Let's do some otter mating here. Let's see if we can do this without a complete disaster. You know what? Let's we can leave them right here. Let's do this. Can I pick them up? There we go. Yep. Just need to pick you up. There you go. All right. I'm gonna attempt. I'm gonna put a couple of rails around them, and then we'll just do do the thing right here. Let's go get a little bit of wood going. Run over here this way. So we try to make sure that we at least breed at least once with uh, every pair that we get here. Oh, can't get up there. There's some wood. Let's get this. All right. Knock down a little bit of wood. All right. A little bit of extra thatch too, just in case. All right. And some fiber. And that should be all we need to make us just a couple rails. We just need one or two rails so the otters don't take off on us. That's it. There we go. Alright. Get back up here. Oh, 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 oh. Scoot back. Let's not glitch through the mountain. That was scary. Oh, please don't glitch out. Why are you wanting to glitch through everything? There we go. It's making me a little bit nervous there. Alright. How many can we make? Let's see, rails, 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 rails. Uh, wooden railing, six. That should be plenty enough. Uh, just to be sure we can do this real quick. We can grab a couple of these while those are making up. We don't need too much. We just need another 30 or 40 or so. And I think we're good with that. There we go. All right, we'll roll with what we got here. This should be enough. Let's find out. We'll kind of lock these guys into a little place right here. Right up here. Oh, that was interesting. We're having a little bit of frames on the server, it looks like. It's okay. All right, uh, let's get up here, try this again. Okay. So let's go wood railing. Three, four, and then let's move this guy over just a little bit. Okay, just make sure I didn't throw him over there. Damn snake. Alright. So let's go like this. If we go like this, if we go follow one, follow one, and follow one, now they won't move anywhere until we tell them to. So we'll go ahead and close them in right here. Bam. Perfect. And we got plenty of fish on them, so we can use that when we're ready here. So let's go... Like this, behavior, enable wandering. That's our female. There's our other female, enable wandering. And number three, behavior, enable wandering. Bam. All right. And, oh no. Oh no. Okay, they can go right through there. I was thinking they were like dodos where they get stuck in here. They're so small, they can actually run straight through. Okay, we we'll just had to whistle really fast. <laughs> that was a disaster. Alright, 
Can we at least see where they're at mating wise? Oh, look, what, our sliders are really fast, so we should be able to mate this up really, really quick. Uh, th we'll have to go get the other one here. Hopefully, it doesn't go too far on us. <laughs> that was that was a disaster. All right. There we go, 29%. So I know the whistling is pretty awful, but this is the only way you get them hold still, especially since it didn't work with the actual walls. So now I know i got to build actual walls. <laughs> that was awful. All right, 40%. Okay, here we go. Man, okay, so really, really look forward to getting this done here. We should have probably gotten a torch, though, since it's getting dark. All right, we're at 50%, about halfway already. Get us a little otter baby going here and then we'll probably start taking one around with us uh, we need to get us a jerboa eventually want to get a jerboa and make sure we kind of get like all the little tames the little tames are kind of fun to get even though you don't use them too much uh, start carrying the shoulder mounts quite a bit no don't take off on me all right 70 percent come on you just stay still just a little bit longer i don't even know where the other guy went to i hope he's not I hope he's still in the base at least. Oh, the other guy's trying to take off. Come on now, 80%. Just hang out just a little bit longer. So what we'll do, as soon as he gets to 100%, as soon as they hit 100 and they start uh, actually gestating, we'll do a follow one on each one of these guys, hopefully fast enough. Don't take off. Oh no, he's trying to get away. <laughs> there we go, there we go. All right. Follow one. And follow one. Alright, these were a complete waste. We know that now. Alright. Okay, we need to get a hold of this guy here. Oh. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Did the Titan Boy. Oh, okay. They make eggs on their own. Check that out. Okay. All right. Let's get this guy behavior disable wandering. Behavior disable wandering. We'll go all stop. All right. Which one's gestating here? That one there. Okay. We got time. Do you have a torch? You do not. Okay. Who's got my torch? I think Cliff Jumper has a torch. We can still go like this. And there we go. Good old Cliff Jumper always has what we need. Bam. All right, let's check out the new otter baby coming here in just a minute. Where are we at? 50%? Okay, we got just a minute. But there you go. So Titan Boa eggs, even though there's no Titan Boa, at least I hope there's no Titan Boa in the area, and they actually lay their own eggs. So that's, that's not a bad thing. So we got our first Titano Boa egg. That's great. All right, let's make sure we got a little bit of fish in our inventory so we can feed this little guy really quick. Oh, they got six level ups already. Cool. Alright. There we go. 51% gestation. So we got it says about a minute left. Well it's not moving now. Why is it not moving? Is it just a glitch? There we go. 87%. Okay, about to pop. Here we go. First otter baby. Yeah. There you go. 94%, about seven seconds. Oh man, here it comes. Can't wait. Already the tiniest and potentially cutest thing in the game. And we're about to see a baby version of it. Possibly. Oh, we're at 99.6. Are we just going to pause there for a while? There we go. Alright. Let's uh, throw that guy here. Oh, there he is. We're having trouble seeing him. He's so small we can't even see him. Oh, I can't imprint. There we go. <laughs> there it is. Look at that, guys. That is is pretty awesome let's get rid of our, our HUD here look at this little tiny thing that's pretty cool alright let's get some fish on this little guy don't die on me there we go very very cool so this guy will, will he'll get uh, old enough really really quick because of the way we have our slider so we don't gotta worry about him at all alright let's make sure names no Okay, just make sure I didn't change too many of the settings there. So there you go. Let's take him off of Disable Wandering. There we go. All right, the new otter should be all grown up. <laughs> Our little excursion trying to chase that guy down. 
Here we go, level 155 male or female. Another female. So we can actually go kind of crazy with the otters now. So I think what we'll do to keep them a little bit more safe. Uh, I'm missing an otter here. Hold on. Oh, am I, do I have one on me? There we go. All right, so one, two, three, four. Four otters now. To keep them a little bit safer, so I'm going to actually build them a little bit of a room up inside the actual pen in there. We'll build them their own separate room so we can actually easily breed them and have a couple extra just in case. So we'll think of a name for these guys. If you guys have a name for me, definitely let me know. All right, what else do we need to get done today? So we got a little bit of breeding done. We've got uh, greenhouse management, metal, everything going. I think those are the main things. So, all right, guys, we're getting the final touches going. We should almost have enough to make our forge here. So we're going to grab a bunch of this metal. Two, four, six. Move this over here. So we've been we've been moving it off the uh, the forges to the uh, smithy and then over here. So that way I can't since I can't carry it back and forth all the weight at once. Let's grab these last few. One, two, come on, three. There we go. One, two, three. How close are we now? We should be really close number wise. Crafting. Oh, we got enough metal. Oh, that's gonna take so much metal. All right. So we're going to get some oil and some polymer. For the oil, there's the water over in Viking Bay. We can use that. And then for the polymer, I think the best bet is just to go start taking out some uh, some mantis over there. I think that's what we're going to do. So, all right, I'm going to go oil hunting and mantis hunting, and we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, we got almost everything we need. I'm hoping I got just a little bit of oil in here. Please, hopefully. Let's see. There we go, 19 there. I think I need 49 total. So this guy's got 19. Oh, where's your little buddy, man? There he is. Grab this guy. 19 more here. Perfect. And I had a little bit inside, so that's 53. I think that's enough. It's going to be really, really close. Uh, let's see. Hopefully, because I don't want to make another trip out to the water, hopefully this is enough. Please be enough. All right. There we go. All that on there. Now let's check the structures. Crafting. We have everything. Check it out. So we turn this on. And here we go. Watch all these items just disappear. They're going to be so sad. Oh, my goodness. Dang near 70 items just gone. But that's okay because we got the one thing we were trying to get. Let's turn this guy off. Oh, that was painful. That was a lot of supplies. All right. Let's see if we can get this perfectly straight here. Now, I was told if you use like a ladder, you can climb the ladder and then it'll make you place things perfectly straight. We're going to try this. I don't have any idea how this works. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Do I even know how to do a ladder? I don't even know if I do. Let's see. Ladder. L-A-D-D-E-R. So I, d I do know wooden ladder. A little bit of fiber, thatch, and wood. Let's grab fiber, thatch, wood. And let's make us a ladder here. Where is the ladder? Go down, go down, go down. Oh, man, I can never find anything in this menu. Let's just do this. <laughs> you know it'll take me six years to find it. Let's see. Ladder. All right, we'll make a couple of these guys here. All right, and we'll run out here and attempt this. Hopefully, we can figure this out. I want it to be just right. All right, let's go. Uh, let's put our ladder down here. Oh, wrong one. All right. Oh, we can't sprint. We're overweight, of course. It's okay. It's okay. All right. So I guess the ladder. All right. So now when you get off of it, you're perfectly straight, and I just need to center myself. Oh, we didn't put the thing on our inventory here. Um, I did grab it, right? Forge. There it is. So theoretically, I should be able to center this just right here. I think we'll go there. It's going to be an expensive place, so please be correct. Oh, why is it not working? There we go. So we may have to build one more out there. So we have one full side of clearance here. And we'll go... Yeah, I should have pushed it over just a little bit. That's pretty close, though. And then I'll need to make a few more of these, but I do have a couple on me. Let's go like this. Alright, one, two, three, 
four, five, six. Perfect. Awesome. There it is. Perfectly placed. <laughs> so this ladder trick was pretty good. It helps you get it just uh, straight in terms of, you know, left, right. That was a really good idea. I'll, I'll have to look in the comments and see who actually did that that for me. All right, we looked it up real quick just to make sure I got the right name. It's Mr. Uh, Kikowski. I'm probably pronouncing that horribly, but he gave me a little pro tip on how to place that straight. So we really appreciate that. Uh, so that, I think that looks pretty good. Man, I think that's all we're going to get done today, though. You can see, oh, and I started these right here uh, while I was waiting in between a few things. Uh, this, one of these is going to be a pin for, I think, the beavers and maybe the otters. And the next one we'll do a little pin for... Uh, like the Ankylo and the Dodic and those other ones. Basically, all my utility dinos I want them to be in these first two uh, little pins right here. You know, the most useful ones that I'm going to take out all the time. And then that way, I can start separating some of the different dinos, you know, into different areas. So, I think that's going to do it today. Uh, nice and early in the morning here. I guess I can put my torch away. Oh, that's not a torch. There we go. All right. One more again. There we go. Oh, there's a Packy. Let's tame that Packy next episode. There it is, guys. Finally got the industrial forge so we can get all kinds of metal going. We had to use a lot of metal, a lot of resources to get it. But I think it'll really, really help us out. I think it looks pretty good right about there. I like this. So I'm going to build it around this, kind of make a little uh, uh, like little shop factory kind of thing around it. And then I'll start building my little pins. And we'll do that next episode. Plus we got some more, of course, some more taming planned. A little more exploring of the Ragnarok map. Having a lot of fun with this, guys. If you guys could, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode of Ark Survival Evolved on the Xbox One the Ragnarok map.